let us continue with the principle of unity of command the principle of unity of command says that there should be only one and one boss for each individual employees if the employee get orders from more than one superiors there will be violation of principle of unity of command do you know what the employees will do at the same time employees will be confused if they will be getting orders from more than one superiors or aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki they will escape by saying that i am doing the work of superior one while they are being asked by superior two or vice versa means when they are they have been asked by superior one they will say i am doing the work of superior two so unity of command if it is not being followed then authority is weakened discipline will not be there and so many other consequences the principle of unity of command resembles to the military organization which says that dual subordination should be avoided dual subordination means one person will not assist to the two superiors for example if a marketing executive is being asked to make a deal with the buyer and marketing manager says that allow 10% discount but the finance department due to its some of the limitations says do not offer more than 5% discount now the person will be confused or if he she will do that he when he will be asked for the deal he can say that before the finance department that marketing manager asked me to give 10% discount or in front of marketing manager he can ask uh, that 5% discount is being asked by the finance department means sometime he will be confused or he will try to manipulate also so unity of command remember the principle of unity of command unity of command means that one subordinate should be given orders by one and only one superior whereas we did this in the principle of functional foremanship given by the f w taylor f w taylor says that worker should be commanded by eight bosses this was the demand of the situation do you remember how the worker was being instructed by eight bosses gang boss speed boss repair clerk time and course clerk etc so if in the examination you are being asked that which principle is violated when the functional formanship is being followed then your answer will be unity of command let us continue to the unity of direction unity of direction says that all the employees workers should move towards the same objective students this i can clear more clear you with the help of example that if uh, you have observed that any vehicle is moving either it is a two wheeler or it is a four wheeler that all the wheels they are moving in the same direction then we can reach to our destination if they will started moving in different directions no one can reach to its 
destination or no one can reach to its targets so in an organization there are various stakeholders management is there worker is there labor union is there or customers are also there but those they are working in an organization they should always move towards the same direction as we all five teachers are moving in the same direction the direction is achievement of good marks in your class 12th in the same way that the every group must have one head and one plan if there will be one head and one plan this will ensure the unity of action and coordination each should have its own in charge plan and execution resources definitely there should not be like that that two divisions will will overlap to each other let us see the difference between the unity of command and the unity of direction the unity of command meaning you are very much clear that one subordinate should receive orders from one and should be responsible to the one superior also and each group of activity have same objective one head and one plan in the unity of direction aim the aim of the unity of command is to prevent dual subordination whereas the aim of unity of direction is to prevent overlapping of activities implications means what problems we face while uh applying the unity of command or what are the what is the scope of implica- uh, application of unity of command so unity of command affects to the one individual whereas unity of direction affects to the throughout the organization the next is subordination of individual interest to the general interest so as i said in an organization various stakeholders are there management is there worker is there different employees are there trade union is there so the interest of an organization should be given the priority over the interest of any one individual in the taylor's principles we have studied that every person joins an organization due to its own personal interest i have joined the school for the purpose of getting salary you have joined the school for the purpose of getting studies that the persons who are giving instructions to we people they have joined the school or they have started the school for the growth of economy for the growth of society so each and every person has its own interest and sometime their interest may be contradicted but why taking any decision the top most management should take decision in such way that the interest of a group company or an organization should supersede the interest of one individual means is tarah se decision liye jaye jahan par ek सिंगल पर्सन का इंटरेस्ट अफेक्ट सुपरशेड ना करे टू द 
इंटरेस्ट ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मींस ऐसा कोई डिसीजन ना लिया जाए कि एक सिंगल पर्सन उससे बेनिफिट हो बट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का नुकसान हो सो द लार्जर इंटरेस्ट ऑफ वर्कर्स एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स को कंसीडर करते हुए दैट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिसीजन शुड बी टेकन दिस यू कैन सी very easily observed through nowadays situation when that this pandemic was arise in india the purpose was to save to make or to provide safety to the society that's why ignoring the economic interest the interest of lockdown was taken that Uh, by supposing that whenever this pandemic will over the economy will again stand as it is thank you